hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another uh, small course this is a small five hours course i'm going to create that is for building airbnb clone so i was thinking about okay i'm creating a full stack loan application that takes like hours to complete like 20 or 30 hours so i'm going to create a mini course which is which talks about only a simple airbnb clone implementation with the help of uh, the latest tech stack so what we are going to use next js 13 13.x and here we are going to use react js 18.x and here prisma which is a orm solution which we can just pair up with our next js so you can just use prisma at the next js server side at the apis and we can use next auth to build a simple authentication like i want to do a login with a google facebook twitter github that we can implement using this uh, next auth you just need to provide a simple implementation for that i mean you just need to create a simple client ids and pass that client id to the next auth so these are the the two things which we are already like solved next auth will do the authentication user will uh, user will we will create some components using react in the next js like api page, server side pages and the client side pages that will show us the data and once you logged in you have the token you will start accessing because we are talking about next js and we are using next auth so we already know how to capture the session in the client side components if the session exists you can uh, trigger an api calls to the next JS apis we are not going to build our api services so we are not going to build uh, enterprise microservices and all you can just make a simple api calls to our uh, simple next JS server side components server side apis those apis because in the next JS you can build a server side apis right and those apis will be talking to the prisma client Prisma through the Prisma client, you would be able to access the data from the Prisma, which is accessing the data from the database. Prisma is just like a ORM. So here we are also going to have some database. Let's say Postgres or MySQL, whatever. And this ORM is going to give us the data like this. So what you what we are doing is first you are logged in, right? using next auth your session exists now you can start fetching the data or start making api calls to fetch the protected data about the user session user data and all on landing page i wanted to show you all the airbnb options for your stay that will be the public endpoint and that we can fetch from the api side so there will be uh, a next js api endpoints that is going to fetch us the data from the postgres database and we are going to define the prisma schema which contains all the different tables and we are using next auth and we are going to use these uh, different providers login with the google facebook github and all so accordingly those the data coming from the google auth and facebook and all will be synchronized in the postgres also because next auth will ask you how you want to persist your authentication data like the user data so we will be using a simple postgres database for it postgres will store the data and then uh, we should be able to do the simple session management using next.js uh, components so once the session exists you will start doing the bookings and simple implementation so all those apis using next.js apis we will be using just a prisma client because uh, this is really nice you can just use a prisma client and access your database tables you don't need external microservices managing the users and all because i want to make this a small project not like a big bang microservices project a small project which contains everything inside a single repository it will be using prisma next auth ne and uh, react js and next js and the postgres these are the simple stack and we will be using a social authentication once the session exists session created in the next js components you will start uh, looking into different pages and you will start doing the orders and all and for all these components we will start making the api calls uh, in the next js api routes which indirectly will update delete create data in the uh, database using prisma using prisma client okay it's going to be fun so this is the next auth here you can use the different adapters like sorry different providers let's say i want to use auth zero 
I will be creating my provider something like this or you want to log in with Facebook, Twitter and all like I want to log in with the GitHub. So this is how you will do. We will be using GitHub provider and passing the GitHub ID and GitHub secret. Similarly, there are adapters. So these are the providers which are available. And this is about next auth. How we are doing it, we are going to integrate next auth for our next JS application. Like if you see the getting started with PNPM, you add it and you add this simple API routes in the next JS API routes. Right? You can see this API route name inside API auth next auth.js. And next auth.js looks like this. You will be passing all the providers you are using, GitHub provider. Google provider and all and then at the client components because you will be using the next TS pages this is how you will initialize the session at the root level so all the components should be able to access the session object right this is how you will use you will use use session hook to get the the session data if session exists I can show your email otherwise you will have a sign in button and in the back end like uh, these are the restricted APIs you can access only those if the session exists so we can get because this is the API route pages API so here we are getting okay server side session exists yes then I will allow you to access otherwise you cannot access the content okay so we will be talk playing with these providers managing the session using the github login and all so it's going to be fun. We are using TypeScript. Prisma is like an ORM, which will give us the, we just need to create a Prisma schema file and then Prisma generate Prisma migrate. That is going to create us the migration files and the database tables. We just need to write this schema file. So it's going to be fun. And we are all obviously using React, React 18 with the next JS. So we'll be creating a components and finally Tailwind for our component design. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a small course which contains a few hours, but it's going to be a fun ride doing all these things together. On another side, I'm also covering T3 stack, which is also using TRPC. So these two playlists, I will say is going to be a small and going to be a fun because we are learning all these modern stack. And if you want to build some, if you want to just play around and build something really nice, then these are the tools which you can use to build something nicer and quicker. Okay, let's uh, deep dive in and just baseline our project with all these uh, different stuff, Prisma, Tailwind, uh, Next.js, Next.auth, integrate all these things together and baseline our uh, project. So see you in the next video with uh, more content on this subject.